What is going on guys, today I'll be installing the Hyperdrive ROM on your Galaxy S3. This will work on pretty much any Galaxy S3, as you can see, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, and AT&T. Basically when you go to install it, just pick your carrier and then it will install. So to get this, basically you just gotta scroll down through all of the features, as you can see a bunch of video reviews right there. And then install instructions, make sure you follow this, we're actually going to go over this and install it live so then you guys will, um, you know, do it right and not freak out. So yeah, go down to the download center right here, make sure you click on RLS10, that's the name of the hyperdrive, and go ahead and wait for this little uh, website to load for the 10 seconds, and then these mirrors will show up select the mirror that is closest to you so in the next three seconds three two one you can see these mirrors are going to show up right here and I actually picked the Arizona server which installed it or downloaded it in about three minutes actually it's like 1.3 gigabytes so these are some pretty good servers what I don't recommend is using this mirror because sometimes it doesn't do right so I would manually select from here just to get the fastest download but yeah that's just what I recommend so let's go back to our little thing here and let's go ahead and download the Play Store and Miscellaneous T-Mobile Carrier Fixes. So click on that and then download that as well. As you can see right down here, I have the Hyperdrive Zip and the Play Store Fix. So let's go ahead and move both of these files to our Galaxy S3. Alright, so now go to your download folder on your PC or if you installed it straight to your device then you don't have to do this step. But basically just take the Hyperdrive drag it over here to the desktop, take the Play Store fix, drag it over to the desktop, and then exit out of that, and then click on your libraries again, go down to your device, you can see here that we have the SD card and the internal storage, some of you might not have an SD card, so basically just go to internal storage, and then you can go to uh, the download folder right here, basically just drag and drop both of these files, so select them all, and then put them right in there. As you can see, I have other downloadable files that I put in here that really shouldn't show up on your device, but that's what I have on mine. It's going to take a little bit to transfer, so just be patient, and then once it's done, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so now if we go back to our device, you can see here in our internal storage download, we have both of our files right here. So now once both of those files are on your device, let's go ahead and install the actual ROM. So the first thing that you're going to want to do on your device is power off. Powering off is basically going to make it so that we can go into our recovery mode. So once it's powered off, go ahead and hold down the volume up, home button, and the power button all at the same time until the little blue text pops up, and then you can release, and then that's going to boot you up into your recovery. In our recovery, all you're going to want to do is scroll down to backup and restore and click on backup. Now I'm forcing you guys to do this because if anything goes wrong, you might complain and it's just going to solve so many other issues that might go wrong. Next click on wipe data factory reset and delete all of your user data. Then scroll down to wipe cache partition and wipe your cache. Then click on advanced, go to wipe Delvet cache and then wipe your Delvet cache. Navigate to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, then scroll down to the download folder and install the hyperdrive ROM as you can see right there click yes install hyperdrive rom then what's going to happen is it's going to start launching the hyperdrive aroma installer so this is really cool because it actually lets you pick exactly what you want in the rom after the language selection it's going to ask you what theme you want now i sort of screwed up here i chose the htc sense theme what i think that you guys should do is actually choose the generic theme or the stock unthemed theme um, it's basically just going to make everything work out better for you in my opinion once you're done with the theme selection, it's going to ask you to press next. Go ahead and press that, then accept the terms and conditions. Then right after that, you're going to see the change log. You can scroll through that, but it's really long, so I don't recommend it. Just click next on that. Then you can choose the run full install option. That's basically just going to bring you straight to the installation process. Go and select what device you have. I have the T-Mobile variant. And then you can see here that we get to choose our launcher. Now this is pretty much the part where you get to customize what you want. So if you want the normal TouchWiz 5 launcher, or the TouchWiz 6 launcher I think now is for the Galaxy S4, then just keep it stock launcher. And then you can see that we can add all of our Samsung apps and add-ons, pretty much select everything that you want. 
And then you have the option to pre-install some file explorers, which is also pretty cool. Then we got an option where you can install some stock Nexus 4 apps. So in this case, I installed the calculator and the messaging app, which I just found pretty cool. I didn't really use this as a full build. I just installed stuff just to show you guys how to, you know, normally install it. As you can see, I'm installing some Google applications. This is something that you might want to look into because if you don't install Gmail or something, then you might freak out, even though you can download it in the Play Store. Still, just choose your stuff. As you can see, you have a wide option of keyboards. That's pretty awesome. Some different ROM mods. And to be straight up honest, guys, I find that there's almost too many features packed into this ROM, but I know that some of you will just flat out love it. So that's why I'm showing you guys how to install this. I recommend using the Deviant kernel, uh, that's what I used and it worked for me. And then press next, ready to install, and then it's basically going to install. Now keep in mind that it's going to take a little bit to install, so just be patient. It took me about 6-7 to seven minutes to finish the installation process. Obviously it'll vary depending on how many stuff you installed. Once it's finished installing, click next, then reboot, and then it's going to do a little stuff in your recovery there. Then it's going to reboot into the hyperdrive ROM. Unfortunately, when it boots up, we just got to power off again, so then we can apply that Google Play T-Mobile miscellaneous fix. So basically, power off, and then once it powers off, hold up on the volume marker, home button, power all at the same time, and then release at the blue text, and it's going to boot you up into your custom recovery again. Alright, so now go to install zip from SD card. I actually had a little difficulty finding the download folder again. For some reason, it was giving me this weird error, but I eventually found it and then I installed it as you can see right here. Once that's installed, reboot your phone. It's going to boot up into the hyperdrive ROM and you should be all good to go now as you can see that awesome boot up animation. So sexy. But the main point is is that you now have this awesome Galaxy S4 home screen that you can sort of mess around with. I'm not going to go into much about the ROM itself. I just want to make a video of how to install it because I saw lots of people having trouble installing it. But yeah, that's basically it. You might have to do a couple reboots um, if you can't get your Google Play sign in to work. But other than that, I think that you all should be fine. That's really the only issue people have been having along with MMS. As you can see, we have Hyperdrive ROM controls, so we have a bunch of features packed into this ROM. Not only do we get to choose what we want to install, but also the features that come with the ROM based off of Android 4.1.2, so you know you get the latest version of Android on the TouchWiz-based ROMs. But anyways, guys, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.